in today's video, we're going to talk about the truth of Warner Media Discovery, which is now the official name of the merging companies. The truth behind Discovery restoring the Snyderverse. And also, we've got to address something else which I feel needs addressing. So, yo, what is good, YouTube? Or Stu here. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the pop culture based videos. Also, check us out on Instagram at War Stu. If you want to see the face behind the voice, check us out on Instagram, War Stu G, aka the Maverick. And also, check us out on Twitch.tv forward slash War Stu. So, I don't really like to make these Snyderverse videos at the moment because there isn't really much new context or much new content i can bring to you but i do get asked these questions an awful lot so i thought i'd address this subject again so a few days ago warner bros discovery which is what it will be called put out a strong statement and a really damn awful logo which cannot be the official logo it says the stuff that dreams are made of it looks like they want to restore warner brothers with the help of discovery back to their greatness which they had many many years ago warner bros discovery would aspire to be the most innovative exciting and fun place to tell stories in the world this is what the company will be about we love the new company's name because it represents the combination of warner bros 100 year legacy of creativity now this is this is the important part authentic storytelling and taking bold risks to bring the most amazing stories to life with Discovery's global brand that will always stood brightly for integrity, innovation, inspiration that was said in the statement. So the stuff things are made of. So yes, this merger is not just about restoring the Snyderverse. In fact, that's only a small marginal point of what this merger is about. Warner Brothers owns a lot of DC licenses, pretty much all of them in fact. It also owns Harry Potter and it owns many other franchises. So this story first came out two weeks ago when it said that essentially this new company, AT&T, will have 71% and Discovery will have 29% of it. Now, it's almost like a lot of people are sleeping on the information that was actually set. And no, Jason wasn't fired. He wanted to leave of his own free will. So they own a lot of stuff huge amounts of stuff. David said they're going to smash up to 20 billion into content in the streaming field in order to compete with the other big companies. So he also, what he also said was he wants to rebuild broken relationships that essentially have been broken. I think people are freaked out, said one former executive who requested autonomy to protect relationships. Executives were taken by surprise, not learning about the deal till Sunday. So essentially no one knew about this, which I kind of think was kind of funny. So he wants to repair David Zesloff, wants to look at to repair frailed relationships with content creators. Who are the content creators? Zack Snyder, Christopher Nolan, War Stew, and many other things. The new company will put storytelling, journalism, creativity at the center of everything we do, Zaslow said. I'm confident this great new company will have the strongest, deepest, and most collaborative relationships with the creative community. This will be the number one priority, David Zaslow. Okay, let's hold back. Let's step back here. So yes, is essentially saying I'm going to restore everything that people want. So yeah, the Snyderverse is pretty much restored. And then we're hearing reports from behind the scenes. Now, this is something I want to get into because I hear I hear a lot of chatter online about people going, yeah, but these, these YouTubers and these articles just say things. They don't show factual evidence. Really? Really? Then you look at Variety's sources. People never reveal their sources. It's always like a close source to this or a quote from a PR company or a quote from Warner Bros but you never actually see an interview where they physically say it. So I think it's absolute nonsense when I see people saying stuff like, oh, you're just a click player. Du -du -du -du. I'm talking generally on a lot of different YouTubers that talk about things that realistically, if you have sources, you can't come out and say exactly who said what. It is ridiculous seeing as we here on the channel called the Snyder Cut coming to HBO Max six months before it freaking happened. Godzilla vs. Kong, we got most of the plot right a year and a half ago. Marvel then Avengers, story, villain, we got that right. Willem Dafoe being in Spider-Man No Way Home, we got, do I, do I need to keep going on? I'm not a scooper. See, what I find interesting is I'm not a scooper at all, but if I'm told something and they're like, you can tell people, I would tell them. So I've told you about the Ben Affleck stuff. I told you Ben Affleck was returning for the Flash movie before most other people said that. I said that. I said he's also going to return to do Justice League reshoots and everyone laughed at me and it happened. I really do find this interesting. So 
Zasloff, okay? This merger, technically, they won't have any real control till middle of 2022 when it goes through. I can't see the American regulators in each country having a problem with this like they did with the Fox merger because the Fox merger with Disney or the takeover was, was a much bigger scale. In terms of streaming capacity, they won't be a big dog until all of this. So it is interesting. So David Zasloff behind the scenes is actually wanting to repair absolutely everything. Everything that's been proposed, pitched over the last 12 months, Zasloff is looking at it. Now, I know exactly what some people are going to go, you've got no proof of this. You, you, you don't know how the game works. If you're questioning how the game works, you've got no idea how information, how things happen behind the scenes. And people are like, yeah, but you've been saying about flip for last year. Yes, I have. But he's appearing in the Flash movie. And yes, he's just about to get there. He's not started work yet. And also, he did the reshoots with Justice Zack Snyder, just, just like I said he would. Now, like I say, I'm not a scooper. I'm not a super duper duper scooper. I get told stuff. So the fact that Zathloth has actually said he wants to bring back after, you know, HBO Max screwed over top filmmakers like Christopher Nolan, you know, the same day of release, that kind of stuff. And also, you know, they've got a lot of cool IPs. I'm going to find myself in an office at Warner Bros. Lot. He said there's so much movies, Casablanca, Ocean's Eleven, Dirk Hunk, TV shows such as Friends, The Big Band were all filmed here. So he wants to bring Warner Bros. back to the greatness. The fans want the Snyderverse. It will be restored. I don't want to have to keep talking about it. But guys, you keep blowing my freaking DMs up, which I love you for. But don't question me if you're going to keep asking me. And then there's a certain website that publishes article and they must have been watching my YouTube videos because literally I said this about two weeks ago. Warner Media, Discovery, Honey, it's not called Warner Media. It's called Warner Bros. Discovery. Will make DC films resemble Marvel Studios? I never said that. But what I think they will do is they will have some variants of their own DC film studio, so to speak, once Zaslav takes control, which could take up to a year and a half, so to speak. So the day-to-day -day running of Warner Bros. Warner Media isn't really going to change much, but as you can see, they're already showing and now stating over three times how popular the Zack Snyder Just Seeing movie was. So I think it's interesting that a lot of people, including myself, sometimes have digs at other websites, but these people on the little YouTube channels having digs have no idea how this stuff happens behind the scenes. Now, on this certain article, it says, Discovery CEO David Zasloff will take over as the boss as a new company. He will. He's known for turning over management teams and shifting strategic gears quickly when results are not to his liking. So everything this says is actually true. Now, I don't know where this information is coming from, but to be fair, like I think this may be the one instance that I agree with this website, so to speak. Now, I don't know this bit here. Zaslov is interested in making DC films connected like it was with Zack Snyder. So yeah, Zaslov is interested in all this stuff. This stuff is actually true. And then when it goes on and says this means Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill Superman and other characters may get a chance to return. You know, it's interesting when they always say may. I mean, yeah, they will return to the big screen for sure. So I do find it interesting. On this one case, this article is kind of right. Maybe they probably got the information from my YouTube videos from watching me or what watching a bunch of other people you probably know who I'm on about. But yeah, for once, this little website that's got like 25,000 adverts on is pretty much on the right thinking. But as I said, you've got to be realistic. It could take a year, a year and a half. You've got all these projects coming out. The Batman movie next year, Suicide Squad movie this year, Black Adam, Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods, Aquaman, and all that kind of stuff. So you're looking at the current DC slate being finished with before they actually do announce any big thing. Although DC Famdome is looking like it's going to be pretty interesting from what we're hearing from behind the scenes and no I'm not ready to say anything about what I'm hearing behind the scenes at the moment because the evidence and the information I'm getting needs a lot more vetting before I can go ahead and actually say what I've heard but I do find it funny when people question me yeah you, you know not okay guys let's just look at all the Snyderverse stuff that I said that came true and all the other stuff I don't want to keep repeating myself I don't need to I need to be more humble but I get a lot of stuff right and it's just annoying when you guys question me sometimes when just because you don't have your own sources you're like yeah you're worse you to trust my bro trust me bro sources no they're not they're really not like don't get where this comes from so I won't be addressing that again this last time I addressed this little thing it's, it's kind of annoying but yeah Zaslav is looking at restoring everything not just the Snyderverse stuff he's on about just making DC and Warner Brothers great Warner Brothers owns a lot of property it's not just the DC content there's so much stuff Warner Brothers has the MK the Harry Potter the TV shows he's on about restoring 
restoring everything and making the whole company run cohesively back like they did when they were actually a freaking powerhouse in Hollywood. So it's just a positive, but this will take time. And whenever I say something will take time, people are like, yeah, you're just saying that like the Backflash series. As far as I know, Ben Affleck is sitting down with the people in power. Talk about that series. It will be happening as long as talks go well. But in journalism, in reporting, stories can change all the time. I do find it interesting how everyone believes Variety. And Variety was like, yeah, Tom Holland's out of Spider-Man 3. It's out of the MCU. One week later, oh, there's a new deal. Oh, okay, okay, because the story's evolved. The story's changed. Every single publication in the world. The Snyder Cut, it's never coming. Washed you, it's coming, son. Trust me. Oh, wait, it came. You see my point? These stories evolve. Learn what you're freaking on about before you start coming at people. Because you don't have a freaking clue what you're on about you really don't so like always guys love you check us out on instagram at war stew twitter war stew g instagram war stew please follow us on the war stews war stew freaking everywhere twitch and i will catch you in another video guys very soon catch you later